This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, September 4th. Everybody getting back to work today after a long weekend. Hopefully you had one of those. And weather is unsettled again today. We'll go in there and check some of the Skycam shots. These were captured early this morning at uh, 5 o'clock. And ooh, look at the fog in Haleyville. That's up in uh, Winston County in northwest Alabama. Work our way down south. That's the Skycam on the campus of the University of Montevallo. And that's the uh, Skycam at Selma, where they had a wind gust at that point of 56 miles per hour yesterday. Uh, a lot of tree and power line damage in downtown Selma. Eight buildings had uh, significant roof damage from that. That was about 5 o'clock, so a pretty wild day of weather. And this morning, uh, things are still pretty moist and stormy. We've got the ghost of Isaac still evident with that weakness northeast of here. And remember, Isaac is the thing that pulled this deep tropical moisture in here last week. It's just been hanging around, and it's going to hang around this week. Uh, there's the radar this morning at uh, 5.05, and at that point, the heavier rain was from near Tuscaloosa down to uh, uh, Selma and Montgomery. Uh, a lot of lightning there in Lowndes County uh, between Selma and Montgomery on US-80. And boy, what a deal last night. Uh, it looks like some folks in Pickens and Greene County said eight inches of rain, major flooding. U.S. 82 is closed in Gordo for a while. Um, and so bottom line is we don't need that rain, but it's going to happen today. Now, the severe weather possibilities today, not as great as recent days. There is no formal risk. We do have the low end 5% probabilities over the southern half of the state. So more than likely, if there is some risk of severe weather, it's going to be down south. Uh, we'll keep an eye on things. And then tomorrow, a slight risk up north, for places like Chicago and uh, Grand Rapids. All right, rain for the next five days. This is valid through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock, and this is showing about one inch here. And uh, we all know with these tropical downpours, these maps don't work all that well because we had some big numbers yesterday and last night. Uh, this is showing the heaviest rain down south near uh, Panama City uh, with five inches there. And really, after today, we do think the showers will thin out a good bit over the latter half of the week, but the rain should increase again on Saturday as we kick off the weekend. Tropical weather. You know, those guys gave that little thing a, a, a TD upgrade yesterday, 13 out there. I don't know about that. Uh, I'm not a big fan of naming these little nothing systems in the middle of nowhere, but they gave it uh, the, the upgrade. Uh, Leslie, uh, of course, is a, is a tropical storm that uh, looks very well defined, uh, packing sustained winds of 65 miles an hour. Uh, first off, that little TD is just going to drift around to do nothing for five days, not affect anybody. Uh, and really, Leslie not moving much at all for the rest of this week. Finally, it begins to move up toward Bermuda over the weekend. And uh, the guys have it very close to the island late Saturday night. But ultimately, a big trough should come in, sweep it out to sea. Maybe getting close to Nova Scotia. This is the GFS ensembles on Leslie. And some of the models take it awfully close to Nova Scotia. Uh, in fact, many of them do. Many of the members of the ensemble do. Uh, so if you're in eastern Canada, out there in Nova Scotia, it bears watching. And I guess if you're on Cape Cod, you might want to keep an eye on that, but certainly no impact on the weather here. All right, model fans, this is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet up. And again, you can see that little weakness northeast of here, the ghost of Isaac. Core of the westerlies up north and down below that, uh, we're expecting scattered to numerous showers and storms today. Highs in the 80s. But tomorrow, we're thinking the showers thin out a bit as the heights rise. We might get up there close to 90 tomorrow. And Thursday, and again, there could be a shower. We're just saying they're going to be widely spaced on Thursday. Now, the GFS is showing 96. I think that's way out of line. The ground is moist. I mean, we have plenty of soil moisture, so a lot of the sun's energy... We'll go to evaporating that and not heating the ground, which heats the air. So uh, low 90s on Thursday. And the same thing on Friday. The chance of rain looks relatively small Friday. The sky would be mostly sunny if this is right. But ooh, on Saturday, look at that. Big old trough digging down in here. Down below that, a surface cold front moves in with a good chance of showers and storms. And yes, I know a lot of things are happening outdoors on Saturday. I don't think it rains all day, but it could rain a pretty good chunk of the day. So plan on rain, uh, maybe a strong storm or two, severe weather possibilities, not overwhelming, but uh, maybe a strong storm. And then Sunday, this run wants to almost cut off an upper low north of here. And if that's right, uh, Sunday would be noticeably cooler, would be in the 70s all day. 
And with the upper low nearby, there might be a little shower or two somewhere. So we might have to revisit the idea of a, of a dry day Sunday if that trend continues. But whatever, it's going to be much cooler. And there's Monday of next week. It'll be a very refreshing day. We'll start the day in the 50s, the high close to 80. And a week from today, gorgeous. Again, low humidity, very, very comfortable temperatures. We'll check the end of the forecast on September 19th. Nice trough developing over the nation's midsection. Nice cold front coming down the pike. And ooh, a little tropical type feature off the tip of yucatan we'll see if there's any consistency in that idea down the line that's it for the weather extreme video today we'll have notes on the blog next video here by 3 30 or so today and don't forget to watch us on abc 3340 news and the live stream of the television side at four five six and ten thanks for watching have a great day and god bless 